Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore NASA's bold plan to build self-healing glass bubble homes on the moon that will be crafted from lunar dust to withstand moonquakes and micrometeorite strikes. NASA has revealed its plans for building housing structures for humans on the moon, which include using a resource on the lunar body. This could come true because of lunar dust. Experiments have shown that when melted at high temperatures, the lunar glass present in moon soil can be turned into liquid to make a large glass bubble structure. The American Space Agency has plans to send humans to the moon once again as part of its Artemis mission. The 10-day Artemis II test flight is set to launch by April 2026 and will be the first crewed flight to the moon under the Artemis program. Then, with Artemis III, NASA is aiming to land humans on the moon for the first time since the Apollo missions. This is being planned for mid-2027. The glass bubbles are being planned by a company called Skyports. The American space engineering company has already tested the technology to blow bubbles from lunar glass. However, they have only been a couple of inches wide. To build habitable homes on the moon, the scientists will have to expand them by hundreds or thousands of feet. The process would involve using lunar glass, a material that is present in the moon's soil, or regolith. These glass, rocks, and mineral fragments would be collected by those who reach the moon. The lunar glass will be melted in a smart microwave furnace and a technology similar to that employed in a domestic microwave oven. The smart microwave furnace will not only help with melting the lunar glass, but also blow it into a bubble. This bubble would harden into a large, transparent structure. The compound used to build these lunar homes could also change to make the eventual glass self-healing. This would be essential in case the glass structures sustain any damage caused by micrometeorites or moonquakes. The glass would be made of polymers, which can reorganize themselves after any cracks. To power these homes, the sun's energy would be harnessed using solar panels. Since transporting materials to the moon would be extremely expensive, they would be altered to serve multiple purposes. For example, huge gas pipes would be used to blow the melted glass and could later be used to create the entrance once the bubble has been created. All fittings inside the bubble would be 3D printed using materials gathered from the moon. Skyport's chief executive Dr. Martin Bermudez has big plans for this technology, not just on the moon, but in other places in space. He hopes to build entire cities of glass spheres connected by glass bridges on the moon. He thinks they can also be placed in orbit someday. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.